Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time at my channel, hello, my name is Brooke Wallenzy and it is very nice to meet you. Make sure that you subscribe down below, give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment and say hello. Also, this is not your first video and you have not subscribed yet. What are you doing? I see you guys out there. Make sure you subscribe. So today I'm doing the goodbye 2019 tag. Nobody tagged me, nobody asked me to do this. No one asked for this, but I wanna do it. So I'm gonna do it anyway. It's only 10 questions, this is going to be kind of a short video, but I really liked the questions that were asked and I've been enjoying watching other YouTubers do these. Question 1 is, what was my happiest moment of 2019? Definitely finally hitting my 250 subscribers. Thank you guys so, so, so much. I hit it early, I was wanting to hit it by New Year's, and I hit it... I can't remember the exact day. I want to say like around December 5th. So I hit it like almost like a month early. My next goal for subscribers is, sorry, there was a shadow and I got scared, is 500 by the end of March. So if you guys would like to help me reach my next goal, please subscribe already. No, I'm just kidding. Um, please subscribe. <laughs> My mom and Nana came and surprised me at my first ever farmer's market in October. That was a really like happy moment. I'm not a very emotional person and I cried because they caught me very off guard. And also saving my kitten Bindi. I got her at a day old off the street and we finally just adopted her this past Friday. So she's 11 weeks old, we've had battles. That is just a whole nother story, but thank God she's okay. And finally we got to adopt her. Saddest 2019 moment. Okay, this is gonna sound kind of bad, but I think our family dogs were put down this year. Might have been the end of 2018, but because I'm living in Texas, I actually don't know if it was the end of 2018 or the beginning of 2019, but my both my family's dogs got put down at the same time within this last like year time frame. That was really sad, but they, li they both live long lives. Like, you know, it is what it is. Uh, another sad moment was finding out that we weren't gonna be able to come home for Christmas. We are literally missing Christmas by a day and I like had already made plans, which is my stupid fault because military don't care about your plans, you guys. So I was a little bummed out about that. But besides that, I've actually had a pretty good year. Number three is what did you learn this year? I've learned a lot, actually. I got my Cricut. I learned how to do so many new crafts. I learned how to care for a kitten. That's like kind of crazy. I've only done that once in my life. So um, I learned the proper ways how to care for a newborn kitten. I learned how to stand up for myself at a job. I'll leave it at that. Did 2019 go by fast? I want to say no, actually, like surprisingly. And I think it's because we've been like going through a lot. Uh, 2018 in October, Colton had a surgery. And then 2019, April, he had another surgery. So like this whole just like, it's just been a lot of like medical stuff with him. And then we've had, you know, medical stuff with the cat since I've had her since September. And we've just kind of been here and... No, I don't know. It's, it's been actually kind of a slow year, which I'm okay with. I am ready to be moved out of El Paso, though. I will say that. What food do you plan on eating for New Year's this year? So for the past two years, two years, we have gone to Colton's dad's house and we do a big, huge seafood boil. So hopefully we'll probably be doing that again this year. I love seafood, so seafood boil would not upset me, meaning crab, mussels, shrimp, potatoes, corn, all the good stuff. Number six is have you picked out your New Year's outfit? Um, my New Year's Eve outfit will probably look something like this. I don't dress up for New Year's. Um, like I said, we don't really go out. We just spend it with family. Number seven, New Year's Eve plans. So I'm just gonna keep this going. I just told you guys our plans for New Year's Eve. We are most likely, we don't have it set in stone, but we're most likely going to his dad's house again and spending it over there with them, with the seafood boil and just hanging out. Number eight, my proudest moment this year. Some of these questions are kind of like seeming like repetitive. My proudest moment this year is definitely setting up my first stand ever at a farmer's market, even though sales were not amazing. I still made it there. I still went and did it. Um, making sales on my So You Designs page on Facebook, making, learning how to make shirts, like all these kinds of stuff. And then obviously saving my little baby kitten, Bindi. That is probably the best thing that I've done this year, if not my whole life. <laughs> Um, she's like having a human child. I love her so much. Number nine is what will you do differently in 2020? Um, I'm hoping to be just more productive all around. I hope to try new recipes, not be in the same dinner cycle. 
be more patient. I always say that I always am working on my patience and my anger management, um, which takes me into number 10 is New Year's resolutions, which I'll just say a few. I literally just posted a whole video of 20 goals for 2020. I will link that down below if you want to see them. But some of them included, like I just said, being more productive. Um, I want to hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube, so subscribe. I would like to get a steady job. But I'm going to leave it at that because there is a whole video, like I said, if you guys want to see me go through all of them. So that is the goodbye 2019 tag. It's been a good year, but you know what? 2019 did me dirty. I said this in my other video too. If you guys have been subscribed to me since the beginning of the year, you know that the beginning of this year, two really cool videos I filmed at home with my family and friends got deleted. And that was how I was gonna start like 2019 strong. I had these cool videos that I had filmed back home with my friends and my family. They got deleted, 2019 did me so dirty. Um, I had bad experiences with my job this year. I am just ready. I mean, like I said, I had a good year overall, but 2019, it did me a little dirty. So I'm ready for 2020. And if it's not better, like me and life, we're going to go because I'm over this. Um, but you know what? It's mind over matter. Life is what you make it. That is all I have for you guys today. Um, if you would like to answer these questions down below, I'm actually really interested to know your guys' goodbye 2019 tag, um, all your answers to these questions, I would love to know. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video.